Now from Angel Stadium in Anaheim, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Washington Nationals and the Los Angeles Angels. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. And now, your 2023 Los Angeles Angels. So just about set and getting a start for the Angels, Shohei Otani. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing and all of his stuff seems to be coming on the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Ball to strike, the pitch. Swings through that. All right, singing you know him at door. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Corey Dickerson. Uh -huh. That one's in there, 0 1. And he deals. Dickerson checks his swing, appeal to third, and Freddie Ferguson says he went around. Ground ball right side could be two. The throw to second, a 3-6-1 double play. The 3-6-1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. No score just getting started, top of the first. And a swing and a miss there. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Zero. Back in Anaheim. And today's starting pitcher, Josiah Gray. And leading off. Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and avoid that big inning. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, hand this off to the bullpen later on, and put his team in a position to win a game. The wind of the pitch. Ripped on a line. This looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's into scoring position with a leadoff double. Maybe a chance for our first run here. Just so sound in his mechanics. It's against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Mike Trout. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He circles the bases, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 2 nothing. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. And that one is gone. Hunter Renfro hits one out. And they add a run. It's 3 0. Back to back Jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Uh 
I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. Yeah. That is smoking. Yeah. And these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. Well struck left field. And it's gone! Home run! Shohei Otani the opposite way. And they add on. It's 5 zip. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there. And that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run to the Light opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Brandon Drury to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Well, it's not the inning he was planning on to begin this start, but you've got to find a way to shake things off and give your team some length and put up some zeros. Comes up empty oh, on the swing, 0-2 now. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. The next pitch misses, and the count one and two. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Gone! He made him pay for that one, and they tack on to their lead. It's 6 nothing. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Pitcher tried to intimidate with that fastball up and in, but he was ready for it. Pulled the trigger, and man, explosive through the zone right there. Manager. Mason Thompson into the game. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. And next for the Angels, Jared Walsh. On the ground, and that squirts through. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right, right there. there. Really nice job. Yep, yep. up the middle with his approach he didn't try to do too much with the pitch just shot it through the infield and now Logan Ohapi and a foul ball Walsh aboard here at first with nobody out strike two activity in the Washington bullpen Thaddeus Ward looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez The 2 And that one gets past the catcher. Batting nut. The shortstop. And the batter will be the shortstop. Luis Rangifo. This one popped up. Puts it away for the out. The left fielder, number three, Taylor. So the batting order turns over. Now the left fielder, Taylor Ward, led off this game with a double. They say it went. No ball, one strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. And ball, ball. one. 1-1. One, one. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Robles going back on this one. To the warning track. Makes the catch. So in the end. All set for the start of the inning. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Jamer Candelario. 
started to swing held up Otani an all star a season ago he features a slider a four seamer a splitter a cutter and he occasionally uses a curve and out number one on the grab that is it. the catcher Kbert and now it's Ruiz. Kebert Ruiz. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. No Next right. offering is in for a strike. Joe McDonald strike. doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what one exactly ball. his zone Good is. Strike. Feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think he's ever way off with his balls and strikes, but yeah, I don't think it's easy to define what his zone is, like you said. One, two now. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Oh, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Out to short. On the run, sent it over to first. And that is that. Three up, three down for Washington. Still up against a six. And welcome back. Bottom of the second. Now the batter now, Mike Trout. The center fielder. Mike. Wow. Here comes a pitch. Up the middle. Abrams picks it up. Over to first. And quickly one away in the second. Singing, it was tough to tell in live action if the ball actually beat him. Well, they are going to challenge the call. And so now the decision will be made by the umpires at the replay center back in New York. Here's one more look, Singy. You think they're going to overturn it? I kind of do. Yeah, I think there's a good chance as well. I mean, the more I look at these different angles, the more I'm becoming convinced that he actually beat the throw. So it's turning out to be a pretty good challenge. The decision's been made and he's safe so they overturn the call and they get it right by taking a chance with a challenge now move to first and diving back is trout now it's hunter renfro out towards right center. That's well struck. That one carry. Hits the fence. Throw comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. First pitch swing in. Went up there with the plan to be aggressive. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. And that one is lifted in the air. He's there. He's got it. Runner tagging from third. He's in on the sack fly. It's seven to nothing. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. On the ground to the left. Candelario on the first. And they get Otani for the out. Now back, second baseman. Brandon Drury, the next to hit for the Angels. He's already homered in this one. In the air right field, Thomas under it and makes the grab. And the inning is over. Uh, two hits and they leave one top half of the third inning the here's C.J. Abrams to hit Otani back Eight to four. work there's the strike well every pitcher wants to run support and having a lead is nice but it can be challenging for some four, guys three. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse go after hitters and get quick outs this one high in the air to left center and there's one down Batting it, the center fielder, number 16. Here's Victor Robles. Victor. 
Robles. Robles getting the start in center. 25 years old. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. One down, base is empty. Ball one. One, two. Foul ball still a one and two count. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. The pitch. Ripped to short. Can't glove it cleanly. Throw to first. Got Gets him. Down. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. The second Two base outs, base is empty. Three. And now it's Luis Garcia. Garcia. Ripped on a line to center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. And the Nationals gone in order. Not going their way. It's 7 as we go to the last of the third. So in now for the Angels, Jared Walsh. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. And strike two. No ball. Two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the first out. Well, that at bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Ohapi oh. stands in now and watches strike one. Righty delivers. Gets him to chase after that oh, one. Not a swing you want to watch again. The ah. punch out there. That's his second strikeout. The batter, number two. So two Good down job. now, and Ooh. here is Luis Rangifo. Flied out his first time. Strike one. Oh, one. Thompson, the tall righty, 25 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2016. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. Right hander kicks deals. Got oh. him! And how about that? It's an immaculate inning. Kelly's saying, who needs the defense? An immaculate inning, three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. Out of the fourth, and now up for Washington, Lane Thomas. Lane Thomas. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. No ball, one strike. And that one in the air center field. Makes the grab one away. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But oh. he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Dickerson in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Pitch misses oh. there. And the count is 2-0. and Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here or this could get ugly. Out. And it hit him. Now, anytime one of your guys gets drilled, it catches everyone's attention in the dugout. And you know what? It kind of gets you fired up. Swung on, belted. Trout ranges back. Still going back. And caught on the warning track. Now that Man at first. Here's the third baseman, Jamer Candelario. That one ran oh. inside, almost got him. Dickerson off of first with two away. And yeah, that's ball outside. Two. two ball, no strike. Next ball. pitch is outside, ball three. Rio. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. 
Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Good plate appearance the there. Able to take the walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So two down. And now the switch hitting catcher, Hebert Ruiz. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. On the ground to third. Rendon throw to first. And that'll do it. So Welcome back. Bottom four. And the batter now, and Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward. No left fielder. Taylor Ward. And here it comes. Bounced up the middle. Not in time. He's safe. Tough play up the middle, and everything needed to be right there. Feel that. Get a strong throw off field. to first base. And I Come think on. the speed going up the line wow. had something to do with it as well. And now batting Mike Trout. He's already homered in this game. They say it went. Well, Singy, Mike Trout, the resume speaks for itself. A guy that's won multiple MVPs, multiple All-Star Game MVPs, a Rookie of the Year. I mean, he's going to go down as one of the best position players ever. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, Mike Trout, since the day he got to the big leagues, a, a superstar. And it's been amazing to watch because earlier in his career, you figured he would taper off some. He wouldn't be a... Got him. One out. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed, it's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And fouled off. <laughs> That's in there. And it's 0-2. That no front door ball. slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. And down on strikes. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. That takes care of Rendon. And that is that. Angels strand one, and they hold a 7-0 lead. Back here at the ballpark. New inning getting started. Now it's Dominic Smith. Pitch ball, misses inside. inside. Ball one. You know, these Nationals, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats. And I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They haven't run a single count full in this ball game, and that's just wild to me. That stat alone shows they're making it way too easy to get them out. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. Renfro going back. Back some more. Makes the catch crashing into the wall. Well, that's a great effort just to get to that one and an even better one to take on the wall and hang on to the baseball for the out. Left-hand hitter waits. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Boog, it looked like that curveball backed up on him, and although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitters timed it up, expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Great location with that two-strike fastball. I'll tell you what, as a hitter, you're looking to protect the outside part of the plate, stay back on something off speed. So many times, that location with two strikes, you just can't get Go around ball. on it, one and that's strike. a tough one to compete with. Robles, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. That's no, outside. outside. One and one. And ball. there's a ball. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball.
pitch. Up the middle. Sends it to Walsh. And that is the third out of the inning. Back here at Angel Stadium, bottom of the inning. Now it's the power speed combo, Shohei Otani. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. You know, these Angels, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. Abrams makes the grab one down. Ground ball left side. What a stop. Fires to first, and they get the out. A quick move to his left, fully extended there in front of the shortstop to make the grab. Up with it, then a strong, accurate throw across the diamond to complete this highlight play. Walsh stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Lined, and that's a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits that where you don't feel any team. vibration in your hands okay. whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Oh, that's a good man. sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just Hurt. don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. The pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So one hit is all they get. Five innings. Back in Anaheim, start of the six. John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Luis Garcia. Otani back to work. That one missed. That's a strike, and that is strike one, one. one. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, okay. excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. That one out to right. Renfro hauls it in for the out. One up, one down. Here's Lane Thomas. Next pitch has popped up. Walsh drifts towards it. That's out number two. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers no pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. No. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Just could not get in sync and even guess right. When you talk about guessing in the game, it's really anticipation and sort of going with what the highest probability pitch, velocity, location, at that point of the at bat is trout sizing it up brings it in for the third out make it six shutout inning bottom of the six and so in now for the angels, angels. luis rangifo shortstop luis rangifo and a pitch check swing he went oh and that's strike one They say it went. No ball. Two strikes. Right-handed reliever. Ball. And that's outside. One ball. Two strikes. The punch out there picks up strikeout number seven. Taylor Ward, the, the next to hit for the three. Angels. Strike one. No ball. One strike. Oh. 
Breaks his bat and pops it up. Smith makes the catch for the out. And a couple of quick outs. Number 27. Mark. Two wow. outs, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, Mike Trout. He's already homered here in this one. And he takes a strike. Trout, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he's a former All-Star Game MVP. Next pitch oh downstairs, and one and one. You know, Singy, in 2022, Trout hit homers in seven straight games, falling just one home run shy of the record, eight in a row by Ken Griffey Jr., Don no, Mattingly, and Dale Long. Two balls, one strike. The count two and one. Ah. That's in there. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He'll circle the bases. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 8 nothing. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. So two away with nobody on. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. In there for strike one. Hard ground ball, base knock. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Now it's Anthony Rendon, one for two. Ah. Called strike right there. No ball. Renfro off of first with two away. Swing and a base hit, and that's going to roll to the wall. Renfro makes the turn at second. Here comes Renfro around third. The relay throw. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. It's 9-0. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now on the bump, Thaddeus Ward. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless Ball, of the score. Down low. Next offering is downstairs. Runner at second, two down. Going to count one and two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Runner leads away at second. Check swing. No appeal. It's two and two. On the ground, right side. Throws to first, and they get Otani for the out. They limit the damage here. So two runs. Welcome back. Top of inning number seven. And now the DH, Joey Meneses. That one misses in the dirt. Foul ball there. Swing and a miss. One ball. And a count two one strike. and two. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. Now batting Jamer Candelario. He's 0 for 1. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. And the righty deals. 
That clips the corner. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Out towards right center field. Renfro in position. Drops into the glove. Out number two. Hebert Ruiz getting ready to hit. In the air, right side. Renfro in position and makes the play, and that's out number three. Nothing to do it for Washington. Steep hill to climb. It's a 9 nothing deficit. And welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Drury. The wind of the pitch. And that oh. misses off the outside edge. The Nationals have some action. To the right side. Over to Smith. Out. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. And now the first baseman, Jared Walsh. Oh, Going right. one. Why to kick the pitch? That's a ball. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. And down on strikes he goes. Two out. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan Ohapi. Out towards left center. Dickerson on his way over. He's got it. And that'll do it. And the Angels are gone. Back here at the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Dominic Smith. 22, Dominic Smith. And a pitch. Fought off foul. And the right hander deals. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. And one, one and two. two. Left hand batter waits. Struck him out swinging. He swung over top of the curveball. Up now, now for batter. Washington, C.J. Abrams. Abrams. First oh. offering misses the mark. Now it catches the corner for a strike. To the right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. The center field, number 16. And now it's Victor Robles up to him. Check swing, no appeal. One ball. Abrams, no the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Ah. Pitch is in for a strike. That's strike one. Kicks and deals. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Next Whoa. offering misses. One ball, one strike. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult oh, to get oh. on the same plane and do anything with.
And a 2-1 on the way. And now 2-2. Two and two. Got him looking. So he's gotten deep into this game. Back here at Angel Stadium. Out of the bottom of the eighth. So in now for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Rangifo coming home. He'll score. It's 10 0. A couple of hits in a row for him here. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Line drive. Tracks it down for the out. Runner tagging for third. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Renfro in the box now. No balls and a strike. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. Strike two. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. And he deals. And that oh, just wow. misses. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. In comes the runner from third. It's 11 to nothing. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. No ball. One strike. Kicks and fires. That yeah. one's in there. 0 oh and 2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Renfro, the runner at second with one away. Next pitch has popped up. Smith pulls it down, and there's two gone. Good hard fastball up at the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Popped up. And he makes the catch. And that's the inning. Welcome back. All set to start. A new pitcher in the game, Jimmy Hergit. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Hergit, a 6-3 righty. He features a slider, a sinker, a slurve, a changeup, and he works in a four-seamer. Here's a high chopper. Drury picks it up, gets it to first, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Here's Dickerson now. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Sometimes a hitter will go up there and guess, and it's not just pulling something out of the sky, but expecting because of tendencies a certain pitch in a certain location, he just guessed wrong. And here it comes. Battling here as he fouls it away. Next pitch has popped up. Two down. Now batting. 
designated hitter. So it's their last chance in this one. And here's the DH for Washington. Joey Manessis. First pitch, not close. And another ball. Two oh. That's down ball. and in. Three ball, no strike. And it's fouled away. They say it went. Ripped on the ground a second. Throw to first in time, and this one is over. And the Angels use two pitchers to combine for the shutout. Well, this team was ready from the first pitch of the ball game. Swinging the bats, scoring runs, just very aggressive. I feel like they set the tone, and that tone created a momentum that took them all the way to the finish line. Nice win today.